Hi there, welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide. And in this video, we'll be comparing the Dyson V15 Detect, V11 Outsize, V11 Torque Drive, and V10 Absolute. These variants represent Dyson's next generation cordless vacuums with a horizontally aligned dustbin. This video will be an overview of these vacuums, their similarities and differences, and which one is best for your needs. I've spent many hours testing these products individually and used them at various times for cleaning my home in both stick and handheld configurations. So I think I have a good grasp of the strengths and weaknesses of these vacuums. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's get into it. Before I go to the comparison, here's a brief history lesson. Sometime early 2018, James Dyson launched the Dyson V10 Absolute, saying that it will be the only vacuum you'll need. In that same press conference in New York, he also revealed that they've stopped developing corded vacuums. They didn't stop selling them, but they've pulled the plug with R&D. Recent product releases seem to back up that claim as succeeding models after the V10 has gotten better with runtime and cleaning performance, culminating with a V15 Detect, which is their best stick vacuum to date. One significant change in the Dyson V10 is dustbin alignment, shifting from the vertically aligned orientation in the V6, V7, and V8 series to being horizontally aligned. This shift improves airflow efficiency since it's in a straight path instead of the 90-degree path in previous generation V-series variants. Dyson says this shift improves suction at the cleaner head by 20% than the V8 animal. I did airflow tests to verify this, and the V10 was only around 8% better at the nozzle. But suction tests reveal an 18% improvement over the V8 Absolute in unsealed suction test using the Y gauge. As I've said in my previous review, unsealed tests are the most accurate since they represent a vacuum's working suction. For this comparison, I'll focus on these four variants. Other models like the V12 Slim have similar features as the V15, but with a smaller dustbin, maybe less power, and some tool variations. One feature that stood out for me was this red button on top, which is the V12's power control button. And this begs the question, why didn't Dyson implement this in the V15 Detect? Push button switches is something that Dyson already has implemented in several of their products like the Omniglide and Micro 1.5 kg. And I'm hoping this feature crosses over to the US market V series, but that's another topic altogether. The V15, V11 torque drive, outsize, and V10 variants use the same form factor, meaning all have the same horizontally aligned dustbin and handle underneath the motor. However, the weight will vary. Without any tools, the V11 outsize is the heaviest, tipping the scales at 5 pounds and 5 ounces. While the V10 is the lightest of the four, at 3 pounds and 10.5 ounces. This will be a huge factor if you'll use any of these vacuums extensively as a handheld. Obviously, the V10 is the clear winner as it's the lightest of the four, while the outsize is the worst for handheld use due to its massive frame. Another underrated aspect to consider is handle weight or how much your arm will be carrying using it as a stick vacuum. Again, the V11 outsize is the heaviest at 2.4 kilograms and the V10 is the lightest at around 1.55 kilograms, mirroring the handheld weight results. So the V10 is the most ergonomically pleasing to use in stick vacuum mode due to its relatively light handle weight. The incremental increase in power and runtime is the reason for the increase in weight, except for the outsize with its massive 1.89 liter capacity, the largest of the four. Speaking of which, all four models utilize the same hygienic system with a trombone type lever. Emptying these vacuums will have the same point-and-shoot approach. It's one of my favorite dustbin emptying systems with its effectiveness at pushing debris downward. All four have a sealed system and didn't leak during the fog test. Each variant uses a similar 2-in-1 filter where the pre- and post-mortar portions are fused into one piece, but sizes will vary. These filters are washable, but I'd be careful not to soak the post-mortar portion in water since it's made from paper. Doing so will degrade filtration. Also, I'd suggest getting extra filters to minimize downtime. All four have the same battery capacity, rated at 3,600 milliamps, with the same claim runtime at 60 minutes, but real-time figures will vary. I did test where I ran the vacuum from full to empty in various configurations, but I'll highlight the figures with the main nozzle, since you'll be using these vacuums in this configuration most often. The V11 outsize ran the longest on hard floors at around 85 minutes, followed by the V15 Detect at 84 minutes, far exceeding Dyson's 60-minute claim. The Dyson V10 Absolute had the shortest runtime at 46 minutes with the main nozzle attached. Before I reveal the carpet results, there are several points I'd like to make. 
First, the middle or auto setting is the most practical on this surface as it provides the best compromise with power and range. And I believe this is a major deciding factor between opting for the cheaper V10, the more expensive V11 variants, or the flagship V15. In the auto setting, the V11 outsize ran the furthest at 22 minutes, likewise in the eco setting at 64 minutes. But when you factor in how well it picks up embedded dirt, the V15 Detect wins this category with a pickup of 100%. I feel that this is an important aspect since using cordless vacuums exclusively in the max setting may burn out the battery and shorten its lifespan. I'll talk about cleaning performance in a later section, but the point is, the V15 Detect has the best sustained deep cleaning performance of the four vacuums here. And it achieves this without sacrificing too much with ergonomics, since it's only slightly heavier than the V11 torque drive. Only the V11 outsize and V15 Detect have detachable batteries, meaning users can easily remove them by pushing this red lever. The V10 and V11 torque drive I have don't have this feature, but select V11 torque drive variants have a detachable battery. One way of checking is looking for this red lever in the photo. Also, the batteries for the V11 outsize and V15 Detect are interchangeable, and I believe that these are also compatible with the V11 torque drive, at least the variants with a detachable battery. As for the interface, only the V10 retains the old slide switch you'll see in the V7 and V8, while the V11 torque drive outsize and V15 Detect have digital screens with real-time data. It started with the V11 torque drive where the screen lets users know how much runtime is left. The runtime display will change depending on the surface thanks to the dynamic load sensor that increases suction if it detects more resistance. The readout on the V11 torque drive and outsize are the same, where it shows the runtime status, power settings, and error messages. With the V15, Dyson added a new readout connected to the piezo sensor that displays four different bar graphs representing four different debris sizes. Attachments will vary depending on the model. These four have basically the same core tool sets like the combination brush and upholstery tool, crevice tool, and mini turbo brush. However, higher end options like the V11 torque drive and outsize have additional tools like the stiff bristle detachment. Only the V15 Detect has the hair screw tool that works great on long hair strands. This is Dyson's souped up version of the mini turbo brush. Fortunately, you don't need to purchase the V15 to enjoy its benefits since all V-series attachments are forward and backward compatible, meaning a newer attachment like the hair screw tool will fit in an older variant like the V10. Cleaning nozzles will also vary depending on the model. Of the four, only the Dyson V15 Detect and V10 Absolute include a soft roller attachment, while the V11 torque drive and outsize only have the torque drive nozzle. All standard brush rolls, at least for these variants, have adjustable gates. Users can open up these gates to fit in larger debris or shut it fully to maximize the seal for deep cleaning. The V15 Detect Slim Roller Attachment will fit in older models like the V10, but the green LED light will not function. So unfortunately, you'll have to purchase the V15 if you want to enjoy its floor tracking benefits. After using it extensively, I prefer using the Slim Roller over the standard soft roller attachment of the V10 since it has lower clearance, so it fits in cramped spaces better. The V11 outsize has the widest cleaning path at over 12 inches and covers more ground per pass. Next we'll look at power and I'll break it down into two sections, airflow and suction. I use an anemometer at the cleaning head and wand to check airflow, and here are the results. The V15 Detect had the highest scores on both the nozzle and wand, with up to 9% more than the V11 outsize and 20% more than the V10 Absolute. Suction results also mirror airflow results with the V15 having the highest in three different categories. Of the three, the unsealed result is the most accurate since it represents the working suction of a vacuum. And the high airflow and suction are significant reasons why the V15 is the best at cleaning embedded sand in the middle setting. This segues me into the next section, which is cleaning performance. There isn't much difference with surface debris between the four, though the V10 lags a few percentage points behind. But the variance between the V11 torque drive, outsize, and V15 Detect is minimal. All are capable of picking up debris, both surface and embedded, with excellent efficiency. My issue with the V11 options I have is the lack of a soft roller attachment. While the torque drive attachment will clean hard floors well, it's not as efficient on particular debris like sand. Plus the vibration makes it a bit annoying to use on this surface. There are V11 options with a soft roller attachment, which you should strongly consider for vacuuming hard floors. 
the excellent pickup on hard floors also translates well cleaning edges, as these vacuums did well cleaning this area. On carpet, there isn't much difference between the V11 options and V15, but there's a noticeable gap with the V10. It's the worst of the four with surface and deep cleaning results. Pair that with a subpar runtime on the mid and max setting makes the V10 ideal only for smaller homes. Also, it lacks the dynamic load sensor, so it doesn't adjust suction automatically. The next point could be another deciding factor, and I'm talking about hair. I've tested these vacuums extensively on hair strands between 5 and 12 inches. The V15 Detect is the best overall on both hard floors and carpet. It's the only option that picked up in the high 90s with 11 and 12 inch hair strands, which isn't surprising since it's the only option with these combs. The results on hard floors though were a bit surprising since it doesn't have any active anti-tangle system. Results for the V11 Outsize and V11 Torque Drive are close, excellent between 5 and 9 inches but struggles somewhat with longer strands above that threshold. While the V10 is the worst of the four, and this is a telltale sign of the lower suction and airflow numbers. There isn't much difference with noise levels, at least in the max setting. The V15 Detect is the noisiest option and the only one breaching 80 decibels. And the V10 Absolute is the least noisy option, ranging between 64 and 76 decibels. To conclude this comparison, the Dyson V15 Detect, while the most expensive, is the best Dyson stick vacuum I've tested. It offers the best combination of performance, runtime, and features. And my favorite feature would be the green LED light that accentuates dirt particles, making vacuuming more efficient. Yes, it's the most expensive, but it's the best option of the bunch if you prioritize cleaning. The Dyson V11 Outsize and Torque Drive are very close, and the only reason I'd recommend the Outsize is if you need an XXL size dustbin or if you want to work out every time you vacuum. Otherwise, go with the V11 Torque Drive. It's cheaper and it cleans as well. Last but not least is the V10 Absolute, the worst performing Dyson of the four with runtime and cleaning performance, but it's the lightest and the cheapest. Consider this option if you prioritize ergonomics and handheld usability over cleaning performance and runtime. It will work great inside smaller homes where the shorter runtime won't be an issue. If you've stuck around until this point, I'd like to say thank you. Consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you and to support this channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future comparisons like this and I have a bunch lined up. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.